Hello, my name is Jonas and you're watching Full Stack Designer. And in today's video, we're gonna be learning how to make an animated bottom sheet model. And here's a little preview of the app that we're building. So when you click on this more button, it opens a model and you can dismiss it by clicking outside or you can dismiss it by dragging on this handle. So let's go. So here we have the base app, base app design that we're gonna be, use, gonna be using for this tutorial. And on the on the left side I have the Figma canvas here, and on the right side I have the prototype running. And there's a horizontal scroll added. Just follows, I guess. So now let's begin building the model. We're gonna start with creating another screen, which is identical to the. Well, whatever screen we have, this in this case I have the iPhone 11 Pro screen, so let's use the same. And let's uh, rename this to be model, like so. And then, to save some time, I already made some components to build the uh, model out of. So, I'm going to be using these. This is the drag handle, and then I have a list item here like so and then we can also need the ios drag whatever it is gesture bar something whatever it's called and now we can actually hide those because we don't need them so now we can uh, select the drag handle and the list item and actually add an auto layout into the to them and actually also add the gesture bar into the auto layout because it's gonna make our life easier and then we can just easily duplicate the list items <coughs> like so and then we want to resize the actual model to be only the size of the model basically and then let's quickly rename these what those were it was add had to playlist oops what is that <laughs> playlist if I could only spell playlist and then what was it like song 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 thank you the song and it's just like block songs like this songs like Songs like this and because I have some components icon components already set up I can easily switch these to be the correct icons for the design like so and then finally the block icon like so and also actually change the color I want it to be this pinkish Something I don't know what to call that. It's red for me. Now add it to all of the other icons like so. And then finally just add some rounded corners to the model. I think 12 is okay for the left and right top corners. And then we're gonna hook up this model. Well, actually, make it, make it work. So, go, in, go into the prototype tab, then select whatever button you want to trigger that, and then connect it to the model. And then, on the interaction section, choose on tab, and then instead of nav navigate to, choose open overlay, and make sure it's connected to the actual model you want to use. Then we're gonna choose bottom center and then also check click when clicking outside and also check add background. And for this, we're gonna use like 50%, it looks okay in my mind. And the animation is gonna be move in from bottom, like so. Ease out is okay, animation curve, and the duration is gonna be 200 milliseconds. So now we should be able to test it out. To open it okay and close it, it goes away 
but the dragging doesn't work yet. So let's hook that up also. And hopefully it's really simple. Just choose the model drag handle element, like so. And in the prototype, go into the interaction and choose on drag and then close overlay, like so. Really simple. And after we have done that, it uh, actually allows us to just drag it down and that's it. It's really simple. Anyone can do this. And there we go. It's super simple to add an animated bottom sheet model into a Figma prototypes. Now, if you found this video any helpful, I would appreciate if you leave a like down below. And if you don't want to miss any future tutorials or videos, please consider subscribing. But for now, have a wonderful day and goodbye.